thank you for being here. And I'm so excited to be able to share all of this wonderful information that you've been able to share with us during rehearsal. Could you just start off and give us a short synopsis and history of Giselle? Giselle is considered one of the two big romantic ballets. Sylphide preceded Giselle by 10 years, both premiered in France and Paris. And Giselle was an instant hit. It had a huge star, or the ballet made this ballerina a huge star. And she toured the world with it. It's a romantic story about a, an innocent girl who was um, wronged by, uh, you know, by a noble, either duke or, or prince, or, you know, it's sort of hard to say, you know, what his nobility was. But um, he wronged her. He was betrothed to somebody else, and she died of a broken heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, then in the second act, uh, we see what happens with, with him showing his grief at her, at her grave. And to his surprise, he meets a lot of women who have been, <laughs> who have been uh, wronged and, um, and they basically have some fun with him. <laughs> <You know? laughs> So it's a uh, it's a fantasy, but it's a fantasy that has lived on now for, you know, over 200 years. What is the difference between a romantic classical and a modern ballet? That's a hard question because, well, it's, you know, the, the romantic ballets are based on love, betrayal, and mm -hmm. some sort of conclusion to that. And the ballerinas are truly ethereal yeah and there's something unworldly about them whereas in classical ballet there's something more tangible about the people that you see and as far as modern ballet goes it depends less on on stories and more on concepts and ideas and a lot of deconstruction of what was classical or what was romantic and taking it on a more conceptual basis. Yes. How do you approach staging a romantic ballet in the year 2021? Well, you know, I've, this is the first time I've ever made an attempt to do something like this. I mean, my work of staging ballets has been exclusively with Balanchine. And not that Balanchine hasn't choreographed story ballets, but the story ballets are not ballets that I've been assigned. So this really is the first time. And I'm drawing on information that I've been given, on ideas that I have, on discussions that I have initiated with people who are very savvy with romantic ballet to get, you know, as much information as I have to then pass on to the Rye Ballet Conservatory dancers. I'm lucky with all of my connections, I'm able to then share these wonderful, you know, not just stories, but just really the line of, you know, from one person to the next, to the next, to the next. And it really is a direct line. Yeah. And we feel so fortunate <laughs> to be able to have you. It is so, so special. And why did you choose Giselle for this year's pre-professional well, production? Well, First of all, we have dancers who I think really can rise to the occasion. Hmm. And when Miss Ashley and I were speaking about what would be appropriate, when you have a school of all girls, you know, with only a few men who are capable, you have certain limitations. And with that in mind, also with COVID-19, everything has to be distanced. Everything has to be, there's no, any pas de deux partnering work. It can't, there can be no touching. So everything yeah. is, a, is an illusion. So I felt that really something like Giselle would be a perfect solution to what we needed to do. 
where she's, she's a vision and he's always seeking her and she disappears. And, yeah. you know, and yet they are able to communicate, you know, since she's a spirit, she's not really a tangible person, you yeah. know, so it's, it just seemed like an absolute perfect choice for us to work. And also the technique that's, that's involved is, is something that is really, a, it's, it's perfect for all the dancers to be able to work in unison. Yes, they are all individuals, but they're doing the step. And that's what a corps de ballet is, a mm -hmm. group of people who work really as one. I always joke about it being like the Rockettes, you know, but we have to be <laughs> as precise as possible and and work as a as a as a unit. And also we have dancers who are now, you know, as they evolve they get to a point that they need this kind of push. And also with this sort of emotional story, it takes you out of what you learn in class. And mm -hmm. what you learn in class is wonderful, but it's all in preparation of taking you to the stage. To be able to ask someone to use their imagination and to develop a plot in their mind and and show it in their body it's it's yeah. really it's such a great opportunity so i really yeah. felt that this it was it was a good it really was a perfect fit for the the time that we're in and the dancers that we have